riding a flatland turn, it's important I get some bike body separation. This is also going to be the case in off-camber terrain. On a berm turn, I might not have bike body separation like I would on a flatland turn until I go fast enough to lean past the angle of the turn. At that point, I'm gonna start getting bike body separation even on a berm turn because I'm leaning past the angle of the ground that I'm on. With bike body separation, essentially I'm gonna be leaning the bicycle more than the rider. And we should start to feel the saddle actually move against our inside thigh, not against the outside thigh. Here I have a very simple drill set up. I've put out some cones and I'm gonna come through the cones in both directions, leading with the same foot. I lead left foot forward, so in this left turn, you're gonna see my right foot move down and back. As that happens, you can see my saddle moving over and actually contacting my inside thigh, my left thigh. Going to the right, you're gonna see me move toward the turn again with my left foot forward. For me, this is a front foot turn. In this instance, you're gonna see my front foot move forward and down and the bicycle is gonna lean in with the seat contacting my right leg, which is now my inside leg. It's quite common for me to see riders do this in reverse, to try to hold the bike upright and lean the body. By learning to get proper bike body separation, we're gonna be able to deal with all kinds of varying terrain as well as off-camber turns. So go out and give this a try. Just set up a basic turn and be sure that the saddle is moving toward your inside thigh. If you're not able to get this from simple footwork, you can actually use your hand to push the bicycle over a little to start to feel that contact with the saddle against the inside leg. To be sure you're getting this right, have somebody film you. It can be very helpful.